The Igudes live in the Isthmus of Tehuantepec. It is believed that due to wars that they had among themselves and with other neighbors, they emigrated from their former territory in self-made canoes or boats, coasting in the Pacific Sea until reaching the Isthmus of Tehuantepec, where they disembarked and settled. Teofil assured with me that they used to be self-governed through uses and customs, which means that they elected their mayor and took other important decisions by voting in assemblies. But the Mexican government has been pumping money to establish a regular democracy, which have divided the community. Before governing was a service, now it has become a profitable job. The Ikuts are sometimes called Waves. Actually, most academic, academic literature refer to them as Waves, but in reality, Wave is an exonym imposed by their Zapotec neighbors. If you quickly search for the meaning of Wave on the internet, most sources indicate that it means people of the sea. But if you dig a little deeper, you can find that in Zapotec language, the word Wave actually means people who rot in the humidity. The, the main language of the Ikuts is the Ombiagiats, though most of them are also fluent in Spanish. For them, the Ombiagiats is the maternal language, while Spanish is the paternal. The Ombiagiats is considered an isolated language, though several linguists have tried to inscribe it within larger linguistic families, such as the Otomangian, Mayan, and Mixesoque families, but they have failed to demonstrate it. Here we can see the personal pronouns of the Ikuts language. We can notice an obvious relation between the word Ikuts and the pronoun they use for us. In San Mateo del Mar, men are usually fishermen and women weave. In its traditional form, fishing had been linked to communitarian organization. The fishing activities are divided through a generational principle that distrib distributes the fishermen in the outer part of the town while the children and the elderly fish in the south of the municipality in the extensive estuary that is formed by the rainfall. The northern lagoons are for young and mature men, capable of navigating deeper and more turbulent waters. From what I understand, women live with their families. Teofila learned from her mother and she teach her daughters. Despite the traditional division of labor, Teofila told me that she has teach her grandson to weave. Here we can see the traditional Ikuts housing. In our conversation, Teofila shared with me that palm houses were a perfect fit for the weather of San Mateo del Mar. She told me that now they mainly have cement houses, which become unbearable in the warmest season. So she prefers to sleep in a hammock outside under a palm. The Italian anthropologist Alessandro Lupo published these maps in his 1981 paper, Astronomical Knowledge and Cosmological Concepts of the Uave of San Mateo del Mar. He drew them based on the oral description of the Ikuts people he had been working with. I will now read direct quotes from this text, but will replace the word Uave with Ikuts. For the Ikuts, the deluge that took place in the past will be followed by one in the future. We do not know when, but it will be announced by prodigious events such as the impregnation of male animals. For the Ikuts, the earth has the form of a disk, completely surrounded by the ocean and dominated by the celestial vault, which includes everything in its hemisphere, from the sun and the moon to the clouds, the winds and the stars. The terrestrial disk, which extends below sea level, ends where it joins the sky and constitutes with the two other elements that divine hole in which man lives and dwells. The Ikuts claim to live on the shore of the emerged part of the earth. In front of them, to the south, lies the immense ocean that surrounds it all and also delimits it to the north, beyond of the mountains that rise inland. Although among the Ikuts, the four cardinal points have no propitious or ominous value and are not associated with any color, the observer clear clearly sees a division existing between the northern and southern portions of each circumscribed space. More precisely, the division is carried out according to the right, left, and man-woman dipoles, so that the right man pole will be associated with the north and the left woman pole with the south. 